Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 24 to 30. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We encounter today a somewhat controversial scene in the Gospel of Mark, where we seemingly see the terse and curt side of Jesus during his initial interaction with the Syrophoenician woman. It is without question that he was exhausted from his travels, his celebrity status, dealings with intrigue from the religious authorities, the masses of sick and unwell people who were all clamoring for his intention. And although Jesus is certainly divine, he was also fully human and subject to fatigue, hunger, frustration, etc., just like us. So it makes sense if Jesus was short with others, especially in situations such as this. Wouldn't any one of us be? But the notable part in the exchange between Jesus and the Gentile woman was the woman's unrelenting determination not to take no for an answer, even when being insulted from whom to her was a foreign and unfamiliar person. And she did all this for the sake of a loved one, her daughter. And her persistence also sheds further light on the power and personhood of Jesus Christ as well, who is not only the Messiah sent from God for the house of Israel, but the entire world. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and life-giving day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.